In this video, we will discuss Seldinger and modified Seldinger techniques. Let's first see about the Seldinger technique. Seldinger technique is a procedure to obtain safe access to blood vessels. First, a hollow needle is slowly inserted into the blood vessel of interest. When there is a splash of blood, the needle is held at this position. Then the guide wire is introduced into the vessel through the hollow needle. Once the guide wire is placed, the needle is removed. Then the catheter is passed over the guide wire and advanced into the vessel. Once the catheter is in position, the guide wire is removed. Thus, a catheter sheath has been safely placed into the vessel. This is called the Seldinger technique. Before proceeding to the modified Seldinger technique, let's see who is Seldinger. Sven Ivar Seldinger was a radiologist from Mora municipality, Sweden. Seldinger first published this technique for obtaining percutaneous access to blood vessels in 1953 for the publication Acta Radiologica. The link to the original article is given in the description, please have a look. Before this technique was invented, vascular access was done by exposing the desired artery surgically and inserting a sharp wide bore trocar. After the procedure, the artery was ligated or repaired. So, these techniques were associated with a high rate of complications and limiting its use only to larger arteries. Thus, the Seldinger technique revolutionized the percutaneous access not only to vascular structures, but to many hollow organs or cavities in the body. Interventional radiology, cardiology, and many other departments would not have reached such heights in percutaneous interventional procedures without this Seldinger technique. I don't know why Sven Ivar Seldinger was not awarded the Nobel Prize? Okay, let's move on to the modified Seldinger technique. It is usually used to insert central venous line in neonates. As the vessels are very small in neonates. Even after a successful puncture of the vein with the needle. The needle may get displaced while passing the guide wire into the needle. So, avoid this problem, a fine catheter over the needle is used to puncture the vein. Once the needle with the fine catheter is inside the vein, the needle is withdrawn, leaving the catheter inside, then the catheter is advanced into the vein until the hub reaches the skin. The fine catheter rather than the needle is used as a conduit for inserting the guide wire. After this, the procedure is similar to the Seldinger technique. Please watch the central venous catheter and femoral arterial line insertion using the Seldinger technique. Hope this video was useful. See you soon in the next video.